Hola Cholas, welcome back to my channel. So you guys requested it, so I did it. Eyebrow tutorial for you guys. Um, I've been doing my eyebrows for maybe, gee, I don't know, like six years. And when I first started off doing my eyebrows, they were a complete mess. Like I used to be really boxy, really dark, I had a heavy hand, and I had no idea what cleaning up was. So today I'm gonna show you how I've gotten to this point, and if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. Okay, Cholas, so for your eyebrows, my eyebrows in particular, your eyebrows in particular, our eyebrows in particular. We're gonna need only four, oh yeah, <laughs> four simple tools, okay? Tool number one, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color chocolate if you're darker like me. My lucky trusty elf concealer brush, it's like one dollar. And to conceal the brows, you're gonna I'm gonna use the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer in the color beige. And last but not least, L'Oreal Infallible in 108. Okay, let's get started. So I first like to um, outline the top first, and I like to brush my hairs down while these into place. And by the way, this helps if you're. Getting perfect brows, they better be plucked, they better be waxed, they better be threaded. Cause honey, like if you don't have your shit cleaned up, you're gonna be trying to find like trying to find a needle in a haystack or trying to find a monkey in a forest jungle. So see how my brows are kind of they're not naturally that straight. I don't know why. I feel like they, these one this side is like relatively straight. This side doesn't want to listen to me ever. So I'm gonna make it straight. Little strokes, that's all you need. Slow and steady wins the race. And I'm just filling in the little bald spots to make a perfect line. And as I'm going, sometimes the product, if it seems like too concentrated in one area, use a spoolie or any spoolie. And just brush it through as you're going, little strokes and always Obviously brush into your eyebrow area, don't brush out, oh, it's gonna be a mess. I'm just stating what you probably already know. Okay, now for my point part, naturally I have really pointy brows so I have to pluck them down to make them round. But sometimes like now they're a little bit too bald, like I might have plucked a little bit too much. So I'm gonna fill that in as well, just nice and round. Remember hair, leg, stroke, hair, leg, stroke. Okay, now for the side of my brow, I'm really a big fan of unnatural looking brows. So I'm not, I'm really not afraid of it being really sharp. Like the sharper, the better. So sometimes I like to just draw a straight line, but for now, let's do it a little at a time. The cleaner you draw your brows on, the less you have to like clean up, you know what I mean? So the straighter I could get this line, the less careful I have to be with the foundation later when I clean it up. Kind of like with life, you know? If you know you're gonna do something bad. <laughs> Just kidding. Now I'm gonna go into the bottom. And again, it's very like not straight at all. This side is very straight. Remember your eyebrows are cousins. They're not identical twin sisters. So they don't have to be exactly the same, just fairly the same. So just as long as they look similar, you know, they're gonna get a great light from people. So on the bottom, I'm just like, here I, since I wanna make it a straight line, you see how it's like, empty right here, I have to draw that in. So I'm gonna brush my hairs up and create this perfect line. Very light guys, you don't have to have a heavy hand with this. Cause you could always go back in and darken it.
And I'm just brushing it with this spoolie now to blend it on. See, it's like not that clean here on the bottom, but that's fine. We're gonna clean it up later. Don't freak out, girl. Okay, here comes the empty part. Today I was singing Mary J. Blige on the way home from Las Vegas. And you know, like, when you hear a Mary J. Blige song, it's like, you can't just not go full out vocals. So you already know me. I was hitting those jam notes. Come to find out Drew Dog's recording me. Ladies, sweet ladies, he's a winner. So I kind of fucked it up a little bit right here at the top. But we're gonna clean that. That little bump is gonna be there anymore. Okay, mijas, now we're gonna go in with the concealer. And trust me, funny, like every time, every step is just gonna make you look hotter for that bottle. Hit up Javier after this eyebrow tutorial, like, hey Javier, did my brows tonight, was good. And literally, I'm just gonna clean it up. Lovely. Starting at the very tip. Little areas at a time. And now I'm just blending out um, the concealer. And we're not erasing the part I drew in. Well, like, that's why you, I love makeup. It's like you could really transform how you look. Like you don't have a brow, draw one on. It boom, you got brows. Like the possibilities are endless. Now I just put a little bit of my foundation on my dish, and then I'm gonna go ahead and clean the top of my brow. Remember that bump that's right here? Check it out. God. And I'm just blending foundation into my regular my skin. Okay, now for the front part, the thin part. Okay, I'm literally just gonna dab the product into my brow. I kind of already said this in my first video, I'm just recapping. That way, it does not, like I said, doesn't get a perfect square. It just looks very natural. So this is the finished eyebrow look. This is basically my everyday go-to eyebrow look. If I ever end up changing it or if I feel like I wanted to make a couple additions to it, I'll go ahead and do an updated eyebrow look. I hope you guys thought it was simple and fun and really easy. Um, if you guys have any more suggestions on tutorials that you need me to, need me to see from me, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe on my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.